Hi, my name is Kate Burton. I play Liz Essendine in Present Laughter with Kevin Klein on Broadway, and I'm here playing Roll Call. I play Constance Middleton in The Constant Wife. My costumes were by the most brilliant, not the most brilliant, one of the most brilliant designers, Michael Crass. And I did this with Lynn Redgrave, and it was the last time I was nominated for a Tony Award. Where is she, where is she? I played Senator Barbara Hallows in the pilot and the second episode of Veep starring Julia Louis-Dreyfus. I was a senator from Nevada, which is actually an, a word that I learned how to say during the show. <laughs> I was always saying, Nevada. They were like, no, you're from Nevada. So I had one of the greatest scenes ever written with Julie Louis-Dreyfus. She came to my office to talk to me about um, com compostable, compostable cutlery. And I said so many incredibly bad words on television. And I have loved playing this part. And the only reason I didn't get to do the show more is I ended up playing the vice president on Scandal. I played Margot Litzenberger in Big Trouble in Little China, and I had to do an enormous amount of scenes uh, where I was fighting with these kung fu warriors, and I also, every day, came to work, got into hair and makeup, and they basically threw a bucket of water on my head before I walked in front of the camera. It was the most fun I've ever had. I was sore the entire time from the fighting, and I never stopped laughing. Ellis Gray, the mother of the leading character in Grey's Anatomy. I was in the first three seasons. My character um, was the first character on network television to have Alzheimer's. I developed an incredible relationship with this character and uh, she kind of changed my life in a lot of ways. I got to know a lot about this incredibly hard and awful disease, but also because I got into sort of the television zeitgeist for the first time in my life as an actress. <laughs> Sally Langston is, was, the Vice President of the United States. Sally Langston <laughs> is so polar opposite for me. She is a dyed-in-the-wool Republican, Bible-thumping, murderess. I'm still on Scandal from time to time. I'm taking a break this year so I can be with Kevin Klein and Present Laughter. But um, it's been the most hilarious and also, as probably may, some of you may know, I talk like this because I'm from the South and I have a television show after I'm not the vice president anymore called Lovers of Liberty. Cindy Whiting was a character that I played in Empire Falls, which was an incredible mini-series on HBO. It was an unbelievable experience. Um, Empire Falls is, is uh, based on a, a wonderful book by Richard Russo that takes place in a mill town in New England. I also sort of weirdly played the daughter of Philip Seymour Hoffman, so I got to work with him a little bit too, and that was an unbelievable experience. I loved playing this part. Fred Skepsi was the director, and uh, he taught me things about playing for the camera I, I'll never forget as long as I live. Hedda Gabler is one of the greatest plays ever written. I played her when I was 40 years old, and I had just had my daughter. And I always say that my daughter kind of changed my life, and so, so did Hedda Gabler. Hedda Gabler is by Henrik Ibsen. It's a Norwegian play, and it's about a very, very complicated woman and the three men in her life. And it ends very tragically, which is always so much fun for an actor. In the same year, I did The Elephant Man with Billy Crudup and Rupert Graves, and I was very blessed because that year I was nominated for two Tony Awards. So I am currently playing Liz Essendine to Kevin Klein's wonderful Gary Essendine. I'm his ex, well actually not his ex-wife, his wife who he hasn't divorced yet. But uh, 35 years ago I made my debut playing Daphne Stillington in Present Laughter with George C. Scott as Gary Essendine. This was an incredible production, it was extremely funny, so it's been an incredible journey for me 35 years later to return to this play and experience it all over again in a totally different way. 
Thank you so much for watching today. Uh, it's been an unbelievable experience seeing all these parts that I've played uh, behind me on the wall. But it's been a wonderful walk down memory lane to think about some of the stuff I've done. And I really encourage you to come see our wonderful, wonderful show, Present Laughter, starring Kevin Klein at the St. James Theatre on 44th Street. And we're having a wonderful time, and we know you will too.